In this video, I wanna talk about if breath work is a scam. And if you haven't already, make sure to press the subscribe button so you get notified when videos just like this come out in the future. I have been in and out of all these different camps of beliefs, whether it's breath work, whether it's cold baths, all of these different mindsets around consciousness evolution. And one of the things that I was very hesitant and skeptical of was breath work, because quite literally breathing differently can't change your mind, can it? Well, recently I was actually out in Sedona and I had the pleasure of going through a two hour breath work session with Anahata. And it quite literally was one one of the most intense things that I had ever done in my whole life. So one of the things that you might be wondering is what does intense mean? What came about from it? And will breath work actually work for me? And so there's a ton of different methods that you could do for breath work. There's shaman breathing, there's shaman jellic, which is what Anahata does. There's Wim Hof. There's all these different methods and a lot of them are tools for different situations. But in any breathwork practice, you can go as deep as you allow yourself. So for instance, during this two hour deep breathing breathwork, what I had was similar to a mushroom trip or something that would pull out all of these different things that I didn't notice about myself. And I found downloads coming from every different area as long as I pushed through, allowed myself to do it, and made sure that I was continually putting in my best effort to do this breathing. And that sounds weird, but the problem is when you get into any of these practices, you have the negative feedback loops of the mind go, nah, you can stop breathing. Nah, don't breathe as hard. You don't need to do this. Hey, maybe this is bad for you. Hyperventilating isn't good. And what ends up happening is you talk yourself out of continually going. But in that push, you'll notice maybe tears stream down your face. Maybe you're screaming. Maybe you're laughing hysterically because you find that you have so much repressed joy. But the ideology of it is quite literally that the more that you can allow yourself to enter that altered state, the more that every Everything can come up. So maybe you watch my microdosing video, if not watch it somewhere up here, and you're a little hesitant to do something that is psychedelic, and I totally understand. I would recommend breath work, and the reason is this is getting you so deep that it compares, it's honestly, I think it's way more intense than uh, just doing some sort of microdose. It allows you to access parts of you that you honestly didn't know were there or that you've kind of hid away from yourself. And by doing a prolonged breathwork exercise, you actually reach these parts of your subconscious that you had been hiding from yourself for so long. So. One of the ways that I like to do a breathwork practice is quite literally putting on some form of playlist that's gonna help you go deeper. Uh, maybe that's some Parangi, maybe that's like Rufus DeSol or some form of EDM that you can just allow the vibes to kind of resonate. And then deep breathing for maybe even an hour and give yourself that space, give yourself that time, give yourself what you need to really access who you really are. So breathwork is not a scam. Let's end the video with that. Breath Breathwork is one of the most powerful tools that you have available for you anywhere and everywhere. Whether the situation is intense and stressful and you need to use something like the box breathing method or you're trying to access the deeper potentiality of what you have within you and you want to use something like shamangelic breathing, you have access to it at any time, anywhere in the world. Drop below if you have a current breathwork practice, I'd love to try it out. Otherwise, make sure to press the subscribe button so you can get notified when videos just like this come out in the future. Mm -hmm.